Okay guys, welcome back to Fun of BSC, BSC Biology Revision Videos Chapter 04, which is related to enzymes. In this chapter, we're talking about chemical reactions, which is a crucial step in our body, and we group it as metabolism. In this big term, there will be two events. One is called the catabolism, that is breaking down things, and the example will be respiration. And for anabolism, we are building up the things like photosynthesis. So it is from the smaller blocks to a bigger, bigger block. And for the role of enzymes, you may, uh, we may illustrate in this diagram, is to lower down the activation energy. What is activation energy? En activation energy is like this, like the height of this hill. Originally, it will be this dotted line as this height. And now with the presence of enzyme, the activation energy is lower down to the point indicated which is much lower, and then because the point is lower, the, end, the reaction is speeded up, that is more likely to happen. And in order to uh, do answer related questions, remember to look for the last term, that is we call the suffix. In here, I listed the catalase, lipase, and protease, they all ends with ASE. And in the question, whenever anything ends, with ASE, remember it is enzyme. And for the action of enzymes, it depends on the active site. With its specific shape, it can undergo, it can uh, catalyze the related question, uh, reaction. And it method is to form the enzyme substrate complex. And in your answers, remember to include these terms like active sites specific and enzyme substrate complex. So what exactly is happening there? So here is a diagram illustrating how an enzyme works. So at first, the green label, the substrate, will bind to the enzyme on the active sites, and it will undergo reaction and break down to these products. And throughout the reaction, you may notice that the enzyme at the bottom never change, remains unchanged. So what are the properties of enzyme? Enzymes are biological catalysts. And it is specific in action. Why? Because the active size is specific with a specific conformation, also known as the 3D shape. We have the lock and key hypothesis. That is one enzyme for one reaction and another one for another one. So maybe enzyme A for reaction A and then enzyme B for reaction B. And enzymes are protein in nature. That's why it will be denatured in high temperature or extreme pH. And they are reusable and only need a very small amount because they are not consumed in the reaction. So there are three factors affecting enzyme activities, temperature, pH, and also the presence of inhibitors. And how temperature reacts with enzyme. So in lower temperature, as indicated on the left-hand side, because of flow kinetic energy, the enzymes are inactive. As the temperature increases, as indicated in here, the kinetic energy will also increase and up to a point we call it optimal temperature. In this diagram, the optimal temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. However, it's not necessary for all the enzymes to have this 40 degrees Celsius as they had optimal temperature. And once you go beyond this optimal temperature, any going up of the temperature, you will have a lower activity. Why? Because the high temperature denatured the enzyme and then the active site will lose their conformation uh, shape and that's why it cannot bind to the substrate anymore so eventually it will lose its ability and how pH uh, interact with enzymes here is a illustration of how different enzymes are working in different temperature they only work in a very narrow range and you may also notice that whenever a extreme pH is used the reaction is lower down to zero. Why? Because extreme period will denature the enzyme. And then because of the loss of shape, the specificity of the enzyme will also lose. And you are kindly reminded that whenever it is denatured, it is a permanent step, which means that you cannot go back. Just like death. You cannot heal a deaf, die person. Okay. However, never use the term kill or die for enzyme because enzymes are not living and kill and die are terms for living things. And how inhibitors interact with enzymes? 
the most common example will be cyanide and also heavy metals like mercury or lead. And here are some extended suggested readings for you guys. If, you, if you're interested in it, you may Google it. And in this chapter, in order to uh, complete the questions, you need to use the concept of experiment to understand them. So are we studying temperature or pH? And then you may be required to plot a graph. Remember, access and title are important, even more important than the content. And you may be required to calculate the rate, and how to calculate the rate will be 1 over the time, also known as the inverse time. And here are some applications of NSAS. You will not be required to list out all of them, so just take one or two to remember it as a keep it in your pocket. And here are some advantages of using enzymes in industry. It will definitely speed up the reaction and will shorten the production time. And also for the enzyme, it can work in a moderate condition, not a high, extreme high pH or high temperature. That's why it will cut down the cost and it is specific to the activities based on the property of the enzyme. And also it is reusable. The last two terms are for the properties of enzyme. And here are the extracts from the HKEA document you are required to understand how the property of enzymes will be. So it includes a protein nature and also specific in actions. And how enzyme specificities in terms of the active site, you should also understand that because it will lead to the explanation of how different factors, including temperature, pH, and inhibitors, how they interact with enzyme. So here is the end of this video. So I hope you see you next time. Bye.